Now the um, uh, the point of this is usually candlesticks don't come in, in ones. They're usually pairs, or you know, if you're setting up a table, you need more than one. And uh, very often, to make the second one, it's always the most difficult thing to do. So um, uh, what I'm what I'm like like to show you is is, um, is instead of starting from scratch and just turning one and then trying to copy the one you just made you actually design one first, okay? I'll give you an example here. It's just typical uh, standard. You design one, and then once you've got it done, you take the, uh, all, the, all the features that sort of uh, 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 determines the shape and the, and the look, and uh, you take all measurements. You take measurements from the base to the feature, and then the diameter of the feature, and so on, right across, uh, that would sort of outlines where the, uh, where the pattern are supposed to land. And then based on the diameter, you cut them, you cut those areas at the diameter, and then you blend them in. Uh, that would be the, the, the most efficient way to, or most uh, accurate way to, uh, to read this, or say, make a second or a third or a fourth. Um, I, I have that, for example, when I make my pepper mills. Uh, I've made uh, quite a number of them and they're pretty much the same to within probably a sixteenth of an inch in, uh, in, in shape. So it's a matter of taking the time to, you know, to take the measurements, mark them and so on. Now I'm going to be turning the uh, candlestick holder between centers, but between centers uh, you gotta, you know, there's a place that you have to put the candle in and, uh, and also it's got the foot. Now the candle, uh, you know, if you do between centers, you gotta drill those holes first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, drill a, if you look at the pattern, here's the pattern after, it's a cross side, it's a cross cut view of the pattern, you see that? Uh, so basically um, at the bottom here I have a, uh, a about a 3 8 inch uh, curve, uh, or what do you call it, recess, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of drill a, 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 a hole, we're using a Forstner or a drill bit uh, to, um, to a depth of th uh, three eighths of an inch. Uh, then at the end, I can, I can rotate this back to remove uh, the square part of the uh, Forstner bit hole and then round it off to approximately a curve like you see here. At the other end, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna drill it to a three quarter inch by, by 0.9 and the first thing I'm going to do is make the, uh, make the bottom recess of the, uh, of the holder, okay? So I use the marks to allow me to center it correctly. Now I want to go in just three eighths of an inch. Now this uh, this measurement, that this three eighths, is not a critical measurement. It's Exactly the same thing on the other side, except I will use the uh, the uh, seven eight inch drill bit. I'm basically preparing the uh, the piece for for final turning. Now this this being the foot, this I can finish at the end. Because once once the the candle holder is made, I just flip it around and finish this off, because now I have a center mark. OK. 
כן? Now, the reason why I am not putting a tenon to do some of the holding is because this is about eight and one eighth roughly. So I don't want to make a tenon and then having to to uh, make some adjustment for the length. So I'm keeping it as is. Okay. So I'm going to go again about three inch of an inch, uh, sorry, three quarters of an inch. Very good. I'm actually deeper than I should be, but that's okay. I will, uh, I'll remove the, uh, I'll remove the eighth inch uh, that I have to remove from this side. Okay. Now, I, you notice I put in the, uh, the um, it's not a spur drive that I use. I always use the, the cup or the cone drive because if in case I get attached, well, it will just slip. Just retighten it and uh, uh, keep going. So I find it's very safe. I I never use I never use the uh, the uh, spur drive at home. Never. Okay. some measurements and uh, we'll proceed from there. So if you look at the drawing, okay, uh, this is the foot. So I'm going to mark, I'm going to mark where the cove is, which is at one, which is, yeah, the cove is, which is at uh, 1.29, but one and a quarter. Now the reason the reason why you make the, the plan first is, uh, is that if you have a plan already, then you, if you follow the plan the first time, you could do the same the second time, and the third, and the fourth. So even though it's a bit more lengthy because it's more cumbersome to take all those, but in the long run, uh, it pays off because you do one. If you're, if you're planning to do more than one, then the second one is easier, and the third is even easier still. Okay, now the next one would be uh, I have one here a quarter inch, that's not the major, but uh, okay. And uh, my next one would be at the top of the cove or the yeah the center of this bead here. Okay. That would be at 1.86. That would be roughly one and three quarters. So one and three quarters would be right here. That's the center of the cove. And the cove width, is, not the cove, I'm sorry, the, uh, the bead and the bead, bead width is 0.323, 3 which means it's uh, roughly 5 sixteenths. 
So I'll go five to the seconds on each side. So let's. Okay. Uh, after that, we've got the another bead at the bottom of the wall. It would have been it would have been a, a cove, but it's not really a cove. So at a distance of uh, right here, 2.4. 2.4 is uh, two and seven sixteenths. Okay. Okay. The thickness of the width of that bead is. 0.166, which is close to uh, 3 sixteenths. So let's make it uh, 3 sixteenths of uh, 2. Okay, side. And the next one after this would be the uh, the, uh, the widest point of the uh, what do you call this part of a finial? In French, it's called the onion. Don't you? <laughs> uh, same thing. Same oh, thing. The onion of the so and that's uh, at a height of uh, 3.17, which is about three and uh, a little over one eighth. Three and one eighth. Uh, the next one would be at uh, uh, at a distance of 5.227, it's about five and a quarter, a little shy of five and a quarter. Okay, now the, 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 the the next one, see, I'm, you notice I'm using, I'm using the, uh, the, uh, the, the bottom, the base, as a reference in all cases. The reason being, you don't go from one measurement to the next, to the next, to the next. Because if you make a mistake on each measurement, well, you're going you're gonna to sort of uh, bring the, the error uh, forward. So by having a reference only at the base, then everything is, is based on that one, okay? So the next... I won't go all the way yet, because uh, if I do, I'll weaken this too much, so I'll wait till later. Uh, the next one would be, uh, next one would be uh, this bead here, that's one, that's the next size up, that's this next mark here.
right now there's no shaping, there's no cutting, it's all scraping. I've tried to get to the to where the pattern is supposed to go. I have all this to turn into the diameter, so I can cut anywhere I want. Okay, at this point in time, we're now, now we'll be able to work in this area. The, uh, the diameter are close to what, what we want. Now we start shaping it, okay? I may have to, I may have to uh, redo some measurements to give me exactly the spots, but the idea is, is, is set it up. Now, now we're right, so we just have to mark exactly what they do. Shy of three quarters, I would say uh, 11 sixteenths. 11 sixteenths, uh, point seven to here. I won't go all the way down. I won't go all the way to the right side. I would say I'll cut short a bit. And the reason is, the reason is that that's the bottom of the cove. And I have about uh, a good healthy uh, eighth inch uh, uh, of width. So if I go bottom to the cove, I cannot make that curve at that depth. I have to go a little higher and then I can dig in a bit more. the curve is uh, a lot more wider, so which means that this curve is a little bit too sharp. I have to come in more. So this comes in a little more. And 
this also has to come out of me. Right now, I'm at the top of the B. I'm right over here. I'm right here. So I'm going to mark off this part here, okay? Which unfortunately, uh, no, I did mark it. It's a 2.4. So 2.4 inches, I'll have to go to a diameter of uh, 0.934. So 2.4 inches, about uh, a little shy of, uh, of 7 sixteenths. 2.2 and 7.16 shy, which is about here. Okay, at that point, I need to go down to a diameter of 0.934. Now, it sounds weird, but I have calibers. I could get that size. Now the reason why I'm going down to that to that side is because that's the top. That is the top of a beam. I am over here. You see it? Yes. I am right here. So that I can mark, I could uh, cut it right to that size, and then I make my, I make my beat there. So I might have to bring this, this, that, this cove down up to that point shy by, uh, uh, about 330 seconds shy here. Okay, this is 316. Now, my B, okay, now the shape is perfect. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Oh, no. Light changing black. It never happened to you? Yeah, that's a time to turn.
Well, this this part is going to look like that one. That's definitely for sure. Not that because I want to be able to, to go in slow. Now this one here, there's a beat that's going to take place right there. Mm -hmm. Just perfect. So we'll shape that afterwards. Now, a distance of uh, this part here of uh, one point uh, no three point eight four. That's about uh, three and seven eighths shy. Here. And next one would be, next mark would be here at uh, 5.227. It's about five and a quarter shy. 227 actually, I'll make it go over 316 right there. Okay, so these are my guides to the diameters. <coughs> okay. Now, since my uh, parting tool is about an eighth inch, it is the uh, it is the uh, either the left or the right hand side that I will use as the the mark because I'm going to go I'm going to make the mark where the, it's higher. So if you look at the tip here, uh, the, the drawing here. If I'm going to make this mark here, it is higher on the on my left than the right. So I will use the left hand side of the tip as the mark. So basically, I will cut this off. The same thing happens on the other side because the curve is going that way. If it was going up, then I do the reverse. Okay. And the first one should be at. Uh, Diameter of 1.11, let's say one and one, and one eighth.
all of you know it, just join them. Now here's something. Because the onion is always going down at a curve this way, I could join them, join it in a straight line, and then make that curve. If it was the other way, I couldn't do that. I would have to wait. Uh, I'd have to come shy, just like I did with the bottom of the hole, to be able to arrive at the right curve. So this one, I can actually draw a straight line. And I was sitting on the expected party. Every time. I'm going to have to make the beat smaller because the bridge of the fact that it came. It came smaller than the top. We need we need too much material. Now the diameter of the cup will have to be down to 3.08. That's about uh, three and one sixteen.
Giro più alto. Ok. Una rondetta B, da lei ci sono giusto che... You have to feel the, uh, you have to feel the uh, grain of the, uh, of the wood. Try to stretch it up. Up. Not a big one. Just a matter of digging in.
and I stay full of them. The rest of you do, do uh, send it down. I won't do any sending here. I'm, I'm a bit off on the diameter here, so the curve is a little bit narrower here, but uh, just modify the, uh, modify the drawing to the next one, and hopefully we'll make a mistake on the next one. <laughs> make the same mistake. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'll make the drawing to accommodate the mistake. Thank you very much, sir.